Here's victim number one, Mozzie. Oh, let me show you guys. I'm just using a Meyer brand oatmeal shampoo on Mozzie. He's victim number one because he hates getting his bath. So, always get him done first. And I always try to groom him first, usually, because he hates it. You hate it, don't you? Okay guys, I won't bore you with uh, scrubbing every single one. Okay, now it's Mickey's turn and on him I'm using this medicated shampoo, uh, Itch Ease. Um, even with taking the Apical and stuff, I've noticed he's been a little bit itchy still. Not, I don't want to say terrible because the Apical has worked, but um, I'm still going to use this on him just to help him out. smells good. It smells like um, it's a lavender, lavender uh, scented. <laughs> you don't want me to give you a bath? Miggy always, I need to film it one time. Whenever I go to grab him uh, to give him a bath or, oh no, 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 not yet. <laughs> to give him a bath or to, um, sometimes just if I pick him up when he's really comfortable, he'll kind of make this, it's like a growl, but he's not growling because he's going to try to attack you or something. But he's letting you know, no, I don't want you to pick me up. I'm comfortable. Or no, please don't pick me up because I do not want to get in the bath. Um, and the, the look on it in his eyes when you pick them up it's just so funny I don't know if I can even capture it in video but he just did that to me when I was uh, picking him up to give him a bath I'm gonna scrub him up I haven't given him a bath um, in a while I usually give him one once a week it's been a couple weeks now um, so I'm really trying to scrub him up good and Miggy really hates his face washed Yes, you do, don't you? I just kind of hold with my thumb. They want to tip their head back. So I just hold with my thumb to keep his face down. I gotta try to be careful so I don't get it in your eyes. No. And they always lick. I don't know why they want to lick. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that face. I don't know if you can see it. Look at that. <laughs> You're so silly. You're the silliest dog. Let's do your, your head. Okay, guys, I'm going to rinse them off, and then on to the other two. Look, I just looked up. Look what I found this boy. Look at Mozzie. <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> what? He's trying to dry himself, I think, on the, um, up against the schnauzer pillow. Look at your face. Look at your eyebrows. <laughs> I better comb his hair. Okay guys, now it's Marley's turn, and Marley, I've noticed, has been biting his feet a little bit, and he's prone to getting like yeast infections um, on his feet. So I've got this shampoo, it's an antiseptic shampoo that I got from my vet. I'm going to put this just on his paws and on his feet. Um... Just the feet area. Really get in between the toes and on his paws. Look how miserable he looks. <laughs> you think that they would know as many bests as they've had? Hey, this is only going to last a little bit. But they look so miserable. <laughs> so I'm going to put this on all his feet. And then I'm going to let it sit supposed to let it sit for, well, as long as you can, about five minutes at least. So I always do his paws first. <clears throat> and then I go ahead and scrub up the rest of his body while this is sitting on his paws. OK, 
Okay. And I'm just going to use that um, oh, medicated shampoo I used on Miggy. They've both been having a lot of problems this summer with their skin. Um, we haven't had a lot of rain here. It's been very dry. We've had to mow our lawn in the, gosh, I don't even think we mowed it for a month. The only thing that has been growing in our yard is weeds. And we didn't like putting chemicals on the lawn in the backyard. Um, just because um, the dogs are on it all the time. But someone told me they could be having problems from clover. And we had a ton, if you um, watch my videos, you would see that we had a ton of clover in our backyard. So we broke down and we got something to spray on it that kills clover. And it's pretty much gone now. And I've noticed since it's gone, um, even with taking the Aquaquil for um, their itchies, um, they were still itching. So now that I've noticed that the clover is pretty much gone, they haven't been um, having the problems as much anymore. So as soon as it um, dies all the way, I'm going to try to take them off the Apoquel, Miggy and um, Marley, because I know Max is probably allergic to dust mites or something because he, I can't take him off it. I even tried in the winter and he's still itchy. So it's not something from outside and it's, um, it's not greens in the food. Tried that. Tried them on a, um, oh gosh, what do you call it? Gluten, no gluten, no wheat, no wheat, no any of that. And that didn't help. So we're thinking it's probably dust mites or something. So, um, anyways, so after that all dies, I'm going to try to take them off of the Apoquel and see what happens. Oops, I'm rubbing that on the foot and I shouldn't be. Leave the foot alone. Leave the foot alone, right? Let that sit. Um, so because for um, 30 pills for three dogs, so that lasts me 10 days for 30 pills, cost me about $63 for 10 days for my boys to be on those pills. I can get a blood test done, I guess, and we could find out what they're allergic to for that. And then once we do find out, that could end up costing like $300 too. So it probably is better to do that. I'm hoping it's something that was outside and we killed it. And hopefully it's better. And in the winter, they don't have any problems. So I know it's gotta be something from outside. I don't know. Either way, it's expensive. I didn't know schnauzers were so high maintenance. <laughs> so I'm going to rinse them. Okay, guys. I'm going to use this um, antiseptic shampoo on Max's feet, too. I noticed he's got some, he's had some orange, just a little bit, um, on the fur around on his paws, on the back feet. And that's usually indicate that's saliva staining. Um... I don't know if you, you probably can't see it on hit around his um, front of his um, mouth here. He's got a little bit of orange and that's from licking his face, like licking his lips um, or if he's been licking his back feet. That's saliva staining. A lot of people wonder what that's from. A lot of people think it's from, which I believe some people who have a full beard of orange, if they have a dog with white face um, or even a light color uh, beard, uh, if you have well water, the hair is going to pick up those minerals just like our hair does if we have well water. I remember when I was younger and my mom and stepdad moved to a um, house with well water. I used to um, lighten my hair, well I still do, um, and the well water, the minerals just, it turned my hair orange. So, um, <coughs> excuse me, I would use clarifying treatments or that purple shampoo, I think it's called... Oh gosh, what's that stuff called? A lot of older people use it that have white hair because their hair will pick up minerals and stuff from water to keep their hair white and keep the yellow out and stuff. Okay, sorry. And then I'm just going to use the oatmeal shampoo. I use that on my hair and it would take it out. So I'm wondering if um, people who have schnauzers or any dog, they have white and have that orange. I wonder if that would work. 
on dogs if it would be okay. I have to do some research on that. But um, I'll show you after I wash them um, what I'm talking about around his, on his lips, the orange. Just let me um, scrub him up and then I'll okay, show you Let me see that. if I can see how he just licked his uh, nose. Can you see the um, Max? He hates his face to be a touch. Max, see the orange around by his nose? It's because he licks, he'll lick up in here, in here, like after he eats or just like that. So that's saliva staining on him. Now I know some dogs will have like their whole front of their face will be orange. And I think that's from if you have low water um, or high mineral uh, count in your water, thinking that's what that might be. I know a lot of people say, oh, it's from the food, it's from their diet, it's this, it's that. Um, and then, oh, you can't tell in his paw. Maybe you can see some orange in here. Sorry, I got my gloves on still. Some orange in there where he's been kind of biting his toes. That's saliva staining. And if you see saliva staining on your dog's feet, they may have a yeast infection on their feet. You should take them into the vet and get checked because um, it won't go away on its own. You need the antiseptic shampoo to put on there. So, you know what? I have a bottle. It's called Shimmer Lights. That's what that purple shampoo is called. Shimmer Lights by Clara. And you can get it at Sally Beauty Supply. I used to manage a Sally Beauty Supply before I came a stay-at-home uh, mom and housewife. Um, let me go get it. I'm going to show it to you. Okay, here's the bottle. This is the generic um, bottle of the Clairol Shimmer Lights. Um, at Sally Beauty Supply, you can get their generic line of like Redken, Paul Mitchell, um, different products. They have It's basically the same thing. I used to work at Sally's, so I know. <laughs> and it's a lot cheaper. But anyways... This is what a lot of older ladies with white hair that get mineral build up on their hair. Um, I use it and my daughter use it because of our uh, blonde highlights and stuff. Helps brighten them up. So I'm wondering if this would work on dogs that get really stained beards. I would ask your vet about it. Before you try it, ask your vet about it and see what they think. It might help out. Okay, these guys are all nice and clean. I still got my apron on, which is not comfortable wearing this hot, hot, sunny day. So they're all nice and clean. I already caught them out here trying to roll around in the grass and dirt. <laughs> yeah, see, I was telling you about the clover. See this patch right here? We're gonna have to plant grass seed. There's a huge patch of clover there. Um, um, out here, there's just clover everywhere. So it's dying, thank goodness. Um, and I, I noticed my dogs would roll in the clover. So I don't know what if the scent of the flower, those white flowers um, and clover, if it attracts them, I don't know, but we have huge patches and now it's like dirt spots. What? You want me to kick this? <laughs> so guys, um, I'm going to be grooming these guys soon. So um, I know a lot of people have asked for uh, the video for clipping their legs. Um, so I'm going to save it for another video, so this one isn't too long. So be sure to keep an eye out for that in the next couple days, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.